guys, we've just seen the most incredible sighting. It is absolutely phenomenal. While Dave and I were driving up the road, this harrier hawk or gymnogene shot out in front of us with this massive snake dangling from its talons. Absolutely incredible and well spotted for David. We've just been scouring this, the trees for it. It's busy snacking on its breakfast. Now harrier hawks or gymnogenes are very, very talented nest raiders. So what they do is they, they, they've got double jointed legs that they can curl into the hollows of trees and bark. And what that means is they pluck out things like baby birds and squirrels. And we've seen this one before. It's the one that hangs out around quarantine. And we've seen it catch a baby squirrel or a bush baby out of a hollow in a tree. This time he's caught a snake. Now I know that the visual is not incredible, but you can see clearly that this bird of prey is feeding off the breakfast that he's caught. Yeah, it was absolutely incredible. That snake was probably about a meter and a half, four and a half feet long, maybe a bit less. That um, I might be embellishing the story ever so slightly. A meter. That'll be about right, Dave. A meter. Three feet. Massive snake. It was so exciting because it flew right over us. Phenomenal. I'm actually going to try and go f either backwards or forwards. I think forwards might work. It's a pity we don't have the camera that Brent's got. Let's go forward a little bit. I've got such a clear view from where I am. Does that change anything? No, that makes it ten times worse, doesn't it? Back. There we go. There we go. And one of my favorite birds of prey, just because they're so different looking with their long tails and their long legs, so incredibly cool. I wonder, here's the road in relation to this tree. I wonder if it, if going back around might not be worth it. I don't think so though. I'm not sure we're going to have a view from around the other side. And he is quite shy. He doesn't really want to be too close to us. 